Welcome. So we have here a case of a box in free fall. As it gets closer to the ground, its velocity increases. We've dealt with this from a kinematic standpoint and a forces standpoint. Let's take a look at this from a work and an energy standpoint. So we have that the work from gravity is equal to negative mg yf minus yi. And we also know that the work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So we know this work, right, is negative mg yf minus yi. And we can write our change in kinetic energy as 1 half mvf squared minus 1 half mvi squared. So what we've seen so far is that we've started to talk about each of these individual terms as kinetic energies, that this being the final kinetic energy, this being the initial kinetic energy, whereas we've treated all of this as just the work. So one thing that we can do instead of having the work on one side and the kinetic energies on the other side is to move it around such that we only have the final objects on each side. So we can have right, just the final on here and move this initial here. To do that, we would need to add 1 half m v sub i squared to both sides. And then to get this final, right, we have negative, so we'd have to add mgyf over to this side plus mgyf over to this side. If we do that, then we have over on this side 1 half m v sub i squared minus minus gives me a plus m g y sub i. And that would be equal to 1 half m v sub f squared plus m g y f. So now we have all the initials on one side, all the finals on another side, and we can still have our old friends, right? This is our initial kinetic energy. This is our final kinetic energy. But now we have to think about just what exactly mgyi and mgyf are. Well, if they're being added to kinetic energies, then they have to be another type of energy. They have to have the same units. They have to be the same concept. So we can give it some sort of energy, right? And we know that this is the initial and this is the final. So unfortunately, capital P for potential energy is no longer available, right? Capital P is for power. And in fact, we're going to steal from electromagnetics where they use U's and V's and things like that. So we're going to use capital U as our potential energy and capital U as our potential energy. What we're saying is if this box is up high, it has more potential to be converted into either kinetic energy or thermal energy or some other type of energy. And so then this is our UI, UF. And we can even look at the change in potential energy for gravity, which we can just write as the change in UG. So that would be the final state, MGYF, minus the initial state, MGYI. If we notice, this looks familiarly like right here. And we can see the only difference is this minus sign. So what we have is we have changes in potential energy is equal to the negative work. Now, this works because right, our potential energy is path independent. It only depends upon the final position and the initial position. It doesn't depend on how we go through that. And we can read up more about that, watch other videos about that. But this is the first problem to look at for this. And welcome back. So what we can also do is we can take a look at a spring that if it has some sort of displacement, there's a force and thus a work associated with that. And then we can also have some sort of initial velocity. So we know from this that the work from our spring is equal to negative 1 half k x final squared minus x initial squared. And so then we also have that our work from our spring is equal to our change in kinetic energy. Then we can write this out, negative 1 half k x final squared minus x initial squared equals 1 half mvf squared minus 1 half 
mvi squared. So we still have right our kinetic energies here, and we can do the same trick that we did just over here. So we can add 1 half mvi squared. We can add 1 half k xf squared, and we're going to do that to both sides. And when we do that, then we get over on this side 1 half mvi squared plus 1 half k xi squared equals 1 half mvf squared plus 1 half k xf squared. And so we have the same thing that we have over here. This is our initial kinetic energy. This is our final kinetic energy. And then this and this are also representing right beginning and ending states. But now this is going to be the spring potential energy initial and the spring potential energy final. So we can have that our change in spring potential energy is equal to 1 half k x sub f squared minus 1 half k x sub i squared. And we can see this is equal to that work of the spring just with that minus sign. So this is equal to the negative work from our spring. So in general, that our change in potential energy is equal to the negative work of something. So if we can find a work that only depends upon the initial and final states and not the path that it's on, like a dissipative force or like drag, then we can write our potential energies once we've found the work from them. It's just the change in potential energy is the negative of the work. Or we can always do these steps to kind of find the individuals.